the first message is never promise anything when you are very happy the second message is never take any decisions when you are very angry let us look at the first message king dasharath the king of ishwagu the husband of kaigeyi he could able to ride the chariot in 10 different direction that's why he is dasharath when indra seeks his help to fight against sambara the asura king dasharath takes kaigeyi as a charioteer she is a good war counselor good charioteer sometimes she throws some tantrums but in the battle during the battle when the wheel gives up drifts from its position because the bolt gives up kaigeyi the name suggests that she is as strong as diamond she uses her finger instead of bolt and rides the chariot very efficiently and could able to make dasharath win the battle so happy dasharat says you are a great charioteer and you have saved my life i want you to give you two boons take it she says i will take it at the appropriate time never ever promise anything when you are so happy because you are not in the right state of mind at that time emotionally you are you are not in, in a balanced state of mind even looking at the kaigeyi's background kaigeyi's mother is the wife of ashwapati ashwapati the king of kegaya could able to listen to the language of birds and animals but only thing is he cannot reveal to anybody because if he reveals to anybody he will die when ashwapati and wife they were in a garden ashwapati listens to two birds talking very humorously and he gives a big laugh listening to this immediately ashwapati's wife ask you please reveal this conversation he says i cannot because if i reveal this i will die he said let it be even though she knows that she is going to die she insists that he should reveal the conversation to him, to her sensing this cruelty immediately ashwapati deports her out of the country along with mantra and this lady gives birth to kaigeyi when she was in exile and they kaigeyi the same mantra poisons her mind later and kaigeyi is so jealous about kaushalya and sumitra that she always insists that dasharath should not go to their andapuras dasharath tells in ramayan in valmiki ramayan he says that he is not doing justice to kaushalya not the, the first wife and not to sumitra and she maintains very good cordial relationship with the maternal side kaigeyi's brother kekaya the king of kekaya the uncle of bharat and shatrugan which is very frequently to ayodhya to see the well being of his sister and the two sons of her even at that time when dasarath dies these two people were in kekaya only he takes them only to his kingdom and she so she always throw tantrums to dasharath so looking at the background when he was so happy that he gave two boons so never ever promise anything when you are very happy is one of the biggest lesson we learn from ramayan because the background of kaigeyi and dasarath when he won the battle he was not in the right frame of mind so happy jubilant in the, in that state of mind he promises and that that is the main issue in ramayan so never ever promise when you are very happy maybe in personal and also in professional life wait for the mind to settle down we all think that lakshman leaves this place because of this language of sita not necessarily that's not the only point here when ram sees lakshman first question he asks lakshman why did you leave he says he narrates the thing he says what did you tell sita when she used such a language to you lakshman says i told her nothing will happen to you i am with it are you confident do you do you you had the congruence in your speech when you told her this is it uh, maybe i was little bit angry ram said yes i have given you a very important responsibility of being a security to sita 
which you have actually disobeyed my order. Even though she has used harsh words, if you would have realized what is your duty, you would not have left the place. Second important thing is, even though she has used such a language to you, you could have ignored it and stayed there if you are so confident that nothing can happen to me. You had a doubt about it. Or the anger has overcome your presence of mind. Your, your thinking capacity has been overshadowed by the anger that even though you said nothing will happen to Ram, you left the place and came to help me and now you realize that nothing happened to me now. There was no congruence in your speech when you told Sita that nothing will happen to Ram. It was a half-hearted statement. Second important thing is because you are angry because of what Sita has told you, you have left the place. So never ever take any decisions when you are angry.